Tonight, a new development in an I-Team investigation into the controversial arrest of a youth hockey coach and a witness who criticized police. As Chief Investigator Cheryl Fiendaka reports, the FBI is now taking a closer look at the case. The conduct of the Salem, New Hampshire police involved in the tasing and arrest of a youth hockey coach now being investigated by the FBI, sources say. Do we need more units? We just tased the one. The internal affairs probe into the incident at the ice rink also mentioned in a recently released audit of the police that found only witnesses who supported the police were interviewed and the officers were exonerated within 24 hours. The report says that can appear to be negligent and retaliatory. You read this audit report and it conjures up images of the wild, wild west inside the Salem, New Hampshire Police Department. Failing to investigate complaints, retaliating against witnesses that raise concerns. It, it's really unbelievable. <laughs> It all unfolded last December when police were called to the I Center in Salem after a contentious youth hockey game. We're over to the I Center for a fight between several parents. Bob Anderson, the coach, told WBZ he was acting as a peacekeeper, standing between two bickering parents when police arrived, pushed him to the ground, and tased him several times. I could hear my son crying and screaming. I could hear my wife screaming. Chris Albano was recording the incident on his iPhone. He wasn't fighting back or anything. Weeks after Chris spoke out in our I-Team report, he was taken off a plane at Logan Airport and arrested. Salem officer Sean Wilson claiming Chris assaulted him months earlier at the hockey rink. I've never heard of it before. In my experience, that runs to four decades. The story is, um, I think, beyond the pale for what is appropriate and professional police conduct. In the police report Wilson wrote that night, he made no mention of being assaulted. But nearly six months after the incident, he applied for an arrest warrant that after watching a WBZ news report, he recognized and remembered Chris hit his hand. Been doing civil rights cases since 1997. I've sued the Salem Police Department more than I've sued combined every other police department in the state. Vogelman says many of the cases he won are mentioned in the audit that found the department violated its own policies and has a negative culture that discourages citizen complaints. Bob's lawyer, Michael Delaney, is also the former New Hampshire Attorney General. Cheryl, the findings of that audit report, in my experience, are highly unusual and they're really very disturbing. The question becomes, who, who's going to rein in the Salem, New Hampshire Police Department? The police chief has said he disagrees with the allegations in the audit, but will work with the town to implement the recommendations. And the FBI is not the only law enforcement agency investigating the Salem Police. The New Hampshire Attorney General says its investigation into the Chris Albano arrest is ongoing. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.